dimensional archives to learn how to build a new dimensionator. Yeah, we'll go to Savali, I guess. Hello, hello. Howdy, everyone. How are you guys doing tonight? Uh, real quick, before we actually start, start. Um, sorry, just making a note real quick. Okay. Anyways, uh, okay. Before we quit, uh, oh my god, I can't talk. Before we actually start, just real quick, I wanted to mention to everyone. Um, if you're on, I don't know what it looks like on mobile, but if you're on PC, you'll notice that the little sub icon underneath the video is a little bit different. Um, supporting a charity, specifically the Trevor Project. Of course, just like subscribing, donating, uh, whether it's money, bits, anything like that. No one should feel like they have to, but if anybody has the mind to spare and would like to, that's awesome. Uh, the Trevor Project is an amazing charity uh, helping LGBTQ youth, uh, specifically with mental health and suicide problems, which is a pretty good cause in my opinion <laughs> you know trying to prevent that sort of thing because it's a real problem especially in that community um so if anybody wants to donate like i said the, the the sub button down bottom should change and should say something like support charity or donate to charity i forget exactly what the wording is you just click on that you can donate whatever you want the money doesn't go to me or anything like that it goes directly to that charity um so yeah uh I don't have a goal in mind for how much to raise or anything like that right now. It is something that we can do if we ever wanted to do like a, a drive or anything like that. I just have it enabled because it's something that I think is a good cause. So again, if you can and you want to, feel free to. If you can't, that's perfectly fine too. Nobody should feel like they have to. Anyways, and of course, if you want to subscribe, you can do, do that too. You just have to, at the top, after you open up the little charity pop-up thing at the top, there's a support stream section, and then that's how you can subscribe like usual. But with that out of the way, let's actually get into the game, man. Okay, so last time, I admit, I don't really remember everything that happened. Uh, things. Things happened. I remember that much. Uh, <laughs> I, what I, okay, so what I remember most about last week, funnily enough, is that after we got off stream, I was like, I'm going to let the game run for a little while just so I can watch all the little pawns run around. Because that's something I like doing in RimWorld sometimes, you know, just seeing what they get up to. Um, with the intention of not saving or interacting in any way, just letting it go. Um, and everyone died. <laughs> Very quickly afterwards because we got raided. And then... I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll just line them up so that at least they're not being picked off, like, one by one, right? So that they actually have a little bit of a fighting chance. So I did that, and they did a little bit better, but still, like, half of the colony died because we got raided again. So I fully expect there to be a raid relatively soon. I don't know for sure if that's going to happen or not. But I wouldn't be surprised if we end up getting a little bit of a, a, little bit of a raid coming in here. We'll see what happens. Uh, oh, the one other update. I got rid of the RimWorld get a pawn thing because I realized we already have a thing for um, getting your name in a game or, or naming an item or whatever the case is. So I just uh, I, I got rid of the RimWorld get a pawn and people can just use that one. Just in your uh, message. I'm pretty sure I have messages enabled for that one. Uh, let me double check that real quick just to be sure. But anyways, in the message for that one, just make sure you put what game if we're playing more than one game where the stuff can be named. Assuming you don't uh, do it during remote or whatever. Uh, name generator. There it is. And yes, require a viewer to enter text is turned on. So yeah, just make sure you mention that it's like forward remote or whatever that way. I don't forget, <laughs> essentially. Uh, I do remember at the end of the last session, we did get a couple people that joined. So if I remember correctly, we need a house for Hattie here. Because Chocobo has got one up here with L. Mr. Noodles got this this big house by themselves. Uh, Nate has... The house looks awfully small, but in reality, we just need to grow the size of the house. Because, like, all of this land, and then I think all of this land over here. Like, this is all one big section of Nate's land. Um... Yeah, from like the top of the inn here all the way down and all the way over here because he went insane with the requests on that. 
So we need to grow his. Oh, and then, of course, we got Tom down here. Uh, but, and then we need to just build a house for Hattie. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to take this opportunity, I think, to try and lay things out a little bit better. Uh, but I do need to try and remember how big they were. Does anybody have a standard size home? Tom. Tom has a standard size home. Okay, so that is... We're doing 17 by 11 for starter homes. Good to remember. Let's manage area, new area. I guess we probably don't have to name it properly anymore since we're not running that same mod because it wasn't working out too well. But whatever, we're going to keep with convention. Okay, so Hattie, where do we want to have you live? Uh, this is kind of the waste area at the moment, so I don't really want to put you there. We could just put you on the other side of Carl. That's not too bad. Got to decide where we want the prison to be. Because we're going to want that relatively soon. Yeah, I think maybe just on the other side of Carl is a relatively decent option. 11 by 17. I wish we had a way of, like, leaving this overlay open while we were doing, like, building and stuff. Because I'm totally going to forget where that's at. Okay, it's diagonally one from that there. A hydrate, you got it. Actually, hold on, where's my bottle of water at? Oh, God. Got it. <laughs> mm. Oh. Drink your water is actually pretty good. Thank you. It's always nice to be reminded because Lord knows I'll forget. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and start building the home. We need to structure just regular walls. I forget where everything is. So it's what, 17? We want to leave a little bit of space in the front and back, but how much? I'm thinking, like, do we just do a long hallway along one side and then have all the rooms come off of it a little bit? So that's the size we got. We'd probably want at least a double wide hallway. We're going to want some growing space, too, so I'm going to have to delete some of this, but... And then for a room... One, two, three, four, five... Wait, one, two, three, four... Two, three, four, five... How big are the other rooms, the starting rooms that we were doing? Three by... Three by five, build a giant dome. Uh, so we could bring it down by one, maybe. Uh, Tom, hold on one sec. <laughs> Don't start building stuff. I have to figure out how we want to do this. Uh, not short wall. Regular wall. So that's the same size room other people had. And then three's pretty decent for a bathroom, too. So we could have a bathroom probably about that size. And then use the rest as, like, a kitchen slash whatever. They're going to be very long houses if we set it up this way, though. That's the part that's a little weird, but... Or do we just have the front room be the bedroom or, or something? Or the kitchen, right? That's that's pretty standard. That's something that, that homes do. <laughs> um, so if we do that, and then... I think it's just you, because it popped up for me. The redeem hydrate option. In fact, I already did it. Okay, wooden wall. Two, three, four, five. So we could do something like that. Have that be the bedroom. Have that be a bathroom. Have this be a kitchen. And then this is just like a hallway connecting the two. Which means we'll also want to get rid of that. And then we can have some small farms and things out the back there. And the kitchen can be like an open floor plan thing. The only problem with that is the way, like, cleanliness is calculated for rooms. This is going to make the kitchen a little bit worse. But with the way we're doing things now, the kitchens don't actually get used all that much. So I guess it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But, okay. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this sort of layout. That seems, that seems decent enough. Let's get 
a single door for that, in the middle for that, and then we need a regular door for the actual house. Oh god, is it not? One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, shit, there's no way to have it centered. Ugh, uh, okay. The door's gonna go down here by the hallway. That seems fine, whatever. Okay, we want a fueled stove. Maybe, like, over... I don't know, it seems to make the most sense to me to have it over here. Why can't I build it there? Because it's blocked by a popular... Then cut the damn tree down! Whatever, we'll put it there then. Yeah, I know it's outdoors game. That's fine. I don't care. We need a bed. We're going to go ahead and standardize on double beds now as well. Instead of singles. Just so whenever we have couples and things, it works out a little bit better. Unless, of course, they're stupid. Like L's religion over here with Chocobo. <laughs> L's cult religion thing doesn't allow them to sleep with people unless they're married. Like in the same room as people. Hydrate is out of stock? What? I must have messed something up whenever I did that. Or it may just be a time thing. Uh, I'll double check it in just a second, though. And then what else do we need? We need a toilet. Toilets are nice to have. Well, a latrine. Don't really get a real toilet just yet. Someday, maybe. No, hold on. Cancel. I want it to face the normal way there. Uh... What else do normal houses get? Oh, that's right. We were doing, like, a counter to eat at, too. We were doing, like, storage cells, but that just ended up being annoying. So I think we're done doing the storage cells. But we do still want the counter, at least. And then... Maybe that just goes, like, right by here? Yeah, single space counter. That doesn't seem too bad. It's kind of annoying that we can't rotate it, though. Maybe in that case, then, we actually do put it up here. I think we're going to put it at the top, actually. Not electric stove. Fueled stove right there. There's the raid that I knew was going to happen. <laughs> I'm not surprised by that in the least bit. Okay, let's uh, continue getting this house set up real quick. Assuming that everyone doesn't just die, we're going to need that. And then... <laughs> Everyone died but Rue. Oh no, guys. Then we need furniture, some stools, or kitchen chairs. What were we doing at the other ones? It's been too long since I've actually built one. Oh, we weren't doing anything at the other ones. Wow. Well, Hattie is going to get a stool anyways. At least one stool. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. Just a little bit of a storage spot and some growing things. Growing zone. Right, because that's... Oh, that's 10. Okay, so we can actually do... We can do it like that. And we'll just get rid of... Oh God, my mouse is messing up today. That's annoying. Okay. <laughs> that just completely got rid of it. I wasn't trying to do that. So what do we want to grow here, though? Uh, is anybody growing wasabi? I don't think we have wasabi or peanuts growing anywhere. We'll do peanuts and wasabi. That's a that's a nice balanced meal, right? <laughs> sure. Uh, Brussels sprouts. Peanuts and Brussels sprouts? Yeah, let's do that. Alright, everyone's getting raided. Let's grab the group. Where is the raid coming from? Top left this time. What are we dealing with? Four people. That's not too bad. One's got a club. That's not bad. What do you got? A sling. A steel iqua. Is that how you say that? I have no idea. And you have a steel breach act. Okay, that's actually not all that bad. See, whenever the raids happened, whenever I was doing it before, they had like actual guns and stuff like that. So it was much scarier than, than what they got right now. This isn't all that bad. I think we should be able to handle this easily enough I don't know are they gonna are they raiding right away it looks like they're raiding right away yeah so let's get everyone over here 
Chocobo has the shotgun, so we want him kind of close, actually. Up a little bit farther. L, what do you have? You also have a shotgun, so let's get you up here. Hattie, you have a bow, which is relatively long range, so we'll just put you uh, kind of in the middle. Nate, you have the rolling block rifle, so we'll get you in the middle. Tom has a regular rifle. You can go... I don't know. Where's everyone else going again? Yeah, okay, Tom. You're fine there. I think that just leaves Mr. Noodle, which has the sniper rifle. So in theory, we want them as far back as possible, but Noodle also has the tendency of shooting people. <laughs> oh, good. L's, L's already going to go down. L, run! <laughs> I think L got shot by one of our old, own people. Oh, this is good. This is good. L's down. L's not dead, at least, but L is down. Okay. Two of them are down. Noodle, stop going where you're going and just start shooting, man. Okay, they're running away. Excellent. That wasn't bad at all. That was so much easier. Where's this wild gander that's... Oh, they must have already went down or something like that. Okay, somebody rescue L. Probably Noodle because you are the other doctor, I believe. And did everyone else die? Everyone else is dead. We had we had no survivors. That kind of sucks because that means there's no one for us to um, unselect Mr. Noodle. That means there's no one for us to capture. But it is what it is, I suppose. All right, let's grab all these bodies. Unforbid them. Extract skull. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember that being a thing. But sure. Whatever. I guess we can just extract people's skulls now. Also, we have this bed. Let's turn that to medical. It was, me it was meant to be. Left me to die? Wait, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Who left you to die? Oh, you mean Rue? <laughs> oh, I think she means because the, uh, the heist that you guys were doing. Because she was the only one to die there. Major break risk. Who, L? L, why are you up? I guess, I guess really you just had some bruises and things, huh? I mean, you still have moderate blood loss, though. I feel like you should be staying in bed for a little bit longer. Do we not have that, uh... Bed rest is a level 2. I don't know what you're doing that's more important than that, but... Sure. I guess that's fine. <laughs> do whatever you need to do. Hey, Nate, thank you so much for the $5 donation to the Trevor Project, ma'am. Like I said, I do appreciate it. Please, no one feel like they have to, but... Again, if you can afford to... Uh, same rules as subscribing and stuff. You know? If you can afford to and you want to, then please do. It's, uh, it's awesome. And like I said, I think it's a really worthy cause, so... That is cool. I do plan on donating a little bit myself. I don't have a ton of money, but probably like five bucks myself too. Just, yeah. Anyways, uh, okay. Who is lacking a weapon? Probably L. Yes. You're lacking a weapon because you almost died. That makes sense. So when you're done doing whatever you're doing, go ahead and equip the pump shotgun. What do these guys have with them? Some jade. Very nice. Camel hide. I mean, that's whatever. Some simple weapons, the sling, some more jade. Were these guys like jade miners or something like that? Oh. <laughs> Nate died too. They did. Everyone died but you. All right, we're going to wait until this building's done. And then once that building's done, we're going to either A, work a little bit on Nate's abode. Or B, start working on the prison area. One or the other. I haven't decided which yet, but right now we're still waiting on things to be to be built. Between having a smaller drive and getting my stuff at discount, you had five I could toss? I was very confused for a second what the hell you were talking about, but I understand now. <laughs> thank you, though, man. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about that. About uh, your boss asking you to do something extra, so you <laughs> were like, sure, if you throw some money my way, which, oh god, is hilarious, honestly. 
at work getting paid extra to do his job. <laughs> I mean, that specifically I don't think was your job, but you know. All right, we have some animals in here. Uh, at least one deer. Is Chocobo... Hopefully Chocobo gets to it soon. Cutting down some trees. Very nice. We have a lot of, like, crap. Like, corpses on the map. I don't know. Did they... How did they die? Oh, well, this is one that we fought at some point. And the squirrel lope. Those are those are things that we fought because those were abominations that came and attacked our colony. Are there any more just like rotting corpses laying around that we need to deal with? I mean, the two human bodies. Do we have any more graves? We do. So those are hopefully getting taken care of. How's our food situation? We were pretty low on that too, I remember. Okay, we have 21 meals, but we have like no raw food, which I mean, isn't terrible. But winter is coming, as they say. So we're going to need to do something about that soon. Hopefully Chocobo is going to be cooking some food. Nope, he's going to cloud all. And we're getting raided again. Excellent. I love that. <laughs> okay. These guys have guns. So I wonder if this is the raid that I got before. Because I, I knew whenever we got raided before that there were guns involved. Um, why are we getting raided so much all of a sudden? What the hell? Uh, man, I'm a terrible god. Okay, so these guys have guns. We need to be a little bit more careful. They're coming from this way. They'll probably run straight up here. So let's grab everyone, I guess. And get them all to come like just down here-ish like this. Yeah, it looks like they're going to come straight up this way. Oh, no. Don't go on Don't go on hyperspeed right now. We need to get people laid out. Okay, Hattie, you can go like here-ish. Tom, you have just a regular rifle. So you can go a little bit farther back, maybe behind the rocks here. Somebody must already have that spot reserved. Okay, well, then you can go there. Nate, you have also just a regular rifle. Are you the one going there? No. So you can go behind this tree. Chocobo has the shotgun, so I need you to come up. L, you as well. You're the one that was going there. Uh, maybe you can come down like a little bit farther, if you even make it over here in time. Noodle, you have the sniper rifle, so if you're not going to shoot anyone in the back, maybe you can go about there. Okay. I don't know what the range on their weapons are, but... Okay, Chocobo's already been hit. That's not great. <laughs> oh, God. Chocobo's being hit a lot. Okay, there's one down. That's excellent. L, you're actually going to have to come, like, all the way over here now. Oh, dude. Okay. This went so much better. <laughs> so much better than it did before. Excellent. Okay. Hunt down. Octave, everyone. Cannot hit target. I know. Hunt him down. <laughs> What are you talking? Whatever. That dude's going to go free. That's fine. Do we have any Wigglers? Anyone alive this time? No. Still, no one alive. Trash, dude. I want to capture more people. We can't capture people if they all just die. A hunting rifle. That's probably better. The bows in this game are actually pretty decent. But I got to imagine the hunting rifle is probably better than a bow. So we're going to go ahead and give that to Hattie. I think. Chocobo, how bad are you? I see you got hurt a little bit. Couple gunshot wounds. Uh, bleeding out in 10 hours. So not great, but not terrible. Hattie also got a gunshot wound, but just one. He's not bleeding out for another 22 hours. So you're both probably going to be fine. Just go and get some medical care. Hopefully either L or uh, Tom or whoever the other doctor is. Hopefully one of them gets you soon. 10 hours. Yeah, you guys, you guys should be fine. This is now Tom's bed. Or not Tom. Uh, Hattie. This is Hattie's bed. And this bed is now back to being for guests. I still don't quite understand how the money thing works. <laughs> oh, that's right. I, I remember now. We realized... 
that even though these are larger, nicer rooms, the quality of these beds kind of suck. They're both poor quality, whereas these ones are both normal quality. So technically, we can charge more for these smaller, worse rooms than we can these <laughs> larger, nicer rooms, which doesn't make a ton of sense, but I suppose it is what it is. All right, Mr. Noodle's treating Chocobo. L is treating... Uh, no, wait. Did Hattie already get treatment? Oh, no, there we go. He's coming in for treatment now. Okay. Good, good, good. What medicines do we have here? Ambrosia, smoke leaf, and an energy drink. We also had some visitors. Where's our visitors at? You guys just come to stay, or are you traders? Looks like you're just coming to stay for a bit. That's fine. Maybe do a little bit of shopping. Spend some time in the, the rooms there or whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and issue a command to just cut everything. In here. That way, hopefully, the uh, the actual plant gunners will get around to that. They're a little bit faster than waiting for somebody building something to do so. And then we'll also get the... Um, floor put down, or ready to be put down, at least. Just regular wood floors. Our colony's poor at the moment, so nothing fancy. There we go. Oh, we were also, I remember giving people their own campfire, their own well, and we were giving everyone a butcher spot, but I don't think I'm going to worry about the butcher spot thing anymore. Um, since we're not doing like everybody makes their own meals thing, because again, everyone was dying. It was bad. Anyways, <laughs> uh, but we'll still give them their own wood storage and their own... Uh, well, the well more or less is just for convenience sake. Uh, I guess the wood storage can kind of go over here close to the entrance of the house, close-ish to the entrance to the house. And then let's go ahead and grab well, which I'm assuming is under hygiene, right? Primitive well. Uh, thankfully, we do have some water over here. Not a ton, but enough. Oh, and a campfire for relaxation and stuff. Although, again, all the outdoor campfires, it looked nice to have them by people's houses. And we were doing it as like an extra way to cook. But it's taking way too much time to refill them all. So I think what I'm actually going to do is just... Maybe the people with upgraded houses can keep theirs. The other ones, though, we're going to go ahead and get rid of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're still going to put one in Hattie's room, though, so they don't freeze to death come this winter. And then deconstruct. Nate, you have one in your room. Good. There's a couple in there. Uh, you know what? No, we're going to get rid of the ones in the nicer houses, too. It's just it's just too much, man. It's using up a bunch of extra wood. It takes too long to refill them all the time. We're just going to get rid of them. Keep the ones indoors so that people don't freeze to death. But the other one, gone. All right. Let's go ahead and go. Speed it back up a little bit. Oh, my God. He asked your rate, and he said he's not asking for my help again because I'm expensive. He said the same last time. you think he would learn his lesson after the first time if that's the case, man. But <laughs> I guess not. Uh, Chocobo. Why do you look naked? <laughs> you're wearing a pigskin... Oh. Uh, no, you're wearing a synthread. You must have just went and picked it up. Maybe it got too damaged or something and you, you took it off. But yeah, you were, you were looking a little bit naked there for a moment. Do we have Hattie's stuff set up? We do. Good, good, good. Oh. No, we must not. We must have just did it, like, really quickly or something like that. Because uh, you just have, like, level 9 on everything. So what are you actually good at? Constructing and growing. That's fine. I like that. Um, we did already set that. You did that. I guess... I guess that's pretty much it. Yeah, we just... <laughs> okay. Well, hey, at least you'll, you'll haul and clean a little bit sooner now. L is sad, so they're wandering around for a bit. New quest would become active? Yeah, no, we're not. 
we can't <laughs> we can't do quests right now are you kidding me you still just wandering yeah poor l what is a uh, no recent conquest l <laughs> what kind of religion does l have man they're in serious pain i mean i'm sorry slept in the cold yeah you'll live we're not getting slaves so you're gonna have to get over that led by a ritualist yeah yeah sorry again gonna have to deal with that at least until noodle uh you know dies uh isn't he always naked and stealing food i don't think he's been stealing food lately he is naked quite a bit though i don't like the fact that he's sleeping right now <laughs> uh just because we kind of need food but I mean, I guess we just don't have food really in the stockpile, though, so it doesn't really matter. He can't really cook anything right now anyways. Oh, God. Hopefully we get at least, like, one more harvest before... <laughs> before, uh... Winter comes. I don't know what we're going to do for food. I guess we're just going to have to do more hunting. We do have hunting set up, right? Yes. Yes, we do. Maybe we need to increase the amount of meat. Oh, no, we have it set to 500. Oh, God. Wait. Oh, that's a new job. We have it set to 300. That's still a pretty decent amount of meat. Is someone conspiring against the mayor? No one's conspiring against the mayor. It's just you're the one leading the town, and some people aren't too happy about that because we're not the predominant cult around this area anymore. L doesn't have a weapon. D did you drop it when you were sadly wandering around? Did it at least go back over here? I don't remember what weapon you had, to be honest. It was either a rifle... You had a shotgun. So where... Where did you drop your shotgun? <laughs> did you drop it, like, in your house? Near your house? Anywhere? Oh my god, Oh. I really wish you would just pick up your weapons before you. Oh god, all of our food is gone. Good. <laughs> it's all gone. We have no food. <laughs> okay. Um. I am a fantastic mayor besides that one prisoner incident. I think there's been more than one prisoner incident. I'm not going to lie. Okay, uh, Chocobo, start doing some butchering because this here is going to go bad eventually everyone else no mr noodle you're the grower so everyone but mr noodle you're going on a hunting trip l doesn't have a weapon i forgot because we can't find your shotgun because you lost it somehow uh you can have i guess the auto pistol everyone else we need to find something to hunt we got some muffalo over here. Muffalo have a lot of meat. I'm into it. Let's go. Hattie, as soon as... Or not Hattie. L, as soon as you grab... The pistol, you're going to come over here as well. No murdering animals for me. You got away with it this time, love. But only this time. Okay. Everyone get in close. In a line, though, preferably. There we go. And then... Drafted hunt. Fine, get at least get one of them before they before they uh, all escape the map. Okay, there's two down. Uh, this one's already hurt, so come over here. Go ahead and try and get this one. We need meat, man. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna starve to death if we don't get some meat. There we go. There's there's three. Uh, this one over here is still doing pretty well. Come on over here. Uh, I'd prefer you didn't kill the boomalope or boom a squirrel, whatever the hell it was. Okay, that should be enough meat for now, I think. So L, uh, that's too heavy. That's too heavy. Okay, Tom, what about you? First, undraft everyone. L, can you do it now? Paul Muffalo, yeah, okay. Tom, Paul Muffalo, Nate. Uh, 
Oh, you'll never do hauling. You're not a hauler. Well, that's fucking stupid. So, Hattie, then. Haul the, the mare and then haul the muffalo. We're also going to have to fight this fire, I suppose. Before it goes insane. Because I have no idea when or if it's ever going to start raining. So, everyone, come beat this fire out, please. Ancient danger. Okay, so that means we just don't want to open that up. <laughs> we just want to leave that closed basically forever. <laughs> Smoke leaf has rotted away in storage. That's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, meat's back on the menu. So, Chocobo, you're sleeping? Stop it. <laughs> Butcher some animals, damn it. Guys, there's still fire over here. <laughs> I probably didn't make the home zone large enough. There. Take care of the fire, people. <laughs> it's going to keep spreading. Like, you can have damn near your whole map burned down. It's terrible. Is anybody going to come fight this fire? Do I have to force someone to come fight the fire? There we go. People are coming over now. Chocobo. You're just finding random animals on the map now to butcher? I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I'm honestly, like, 100%, that's fine, man. Just get some of these things gone, dude. Hattie almost has a whole house to himself now. How are we doing for wood? We have 468. We're definitely going to want more for winter so we don't have a repeat of last time. It actually seems like a pretty good opportunity to grab the forestry thing here and just... Oh, we have a target of 1,008. Never mind. Okay, there's just a lot of chopping that still needs done. Say, so it seems like a good time to, to go ahead and get that increased a little bit. And Chocobo, we have food now. Not allowed to cook because it's time for you to go home. Uh, I mean, that's okay, I guess. We now have an angry guinea pig. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I think everyone is set to, to fight, so. There we go. Guinea pig's been taken care of. It's fine. <laughs> oh, God. Do we have everyone set up? Watch We don't. We forgot to set up Hattie. Watching previous streams make me sound like a, <laughs> a deep voice chick monk. Which uh, stream are you watching at at 2x, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, that's another thing. I haven't really mentioned it on stream or anything like that. Um, but I have been working a lot on getting uh, the streams caught up on, on YouTube. The VODs caught up on YouTube. Um, so, yeah. I mean, they're still like two months old, <laughs> the ones that are going up. And they probably will be very far behind for a long time. But that's fine. That just means we have a, uh, a backlog of stuff, man. In case, you know, on vacation or anything like that or whatever. They were awfully disappointed by their stay. Is it because I didn't have any food for you to buy? <laughs> Roaming monstrosities. Dude, the game will not let up. A muffalo cat. A chicken wolf hen. Two chicken wolf hens. Uh, okay, uh, we need food. So everybody but the food people again. You're getting drafted. Um, just come over this way. Oh god, those things can move quick. Okay, uh, a son of a bitch. Tom? Go like here, Hattie? Go like here? Where is this chicken wolf hen going? Hattie, just stop where you're at. Uh, attack. God damn it, dude. Okay. Um. Where is the chicken wolf hen going? No, don't attack Monaboo. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, okay, Chocobo, you're going to get drafted now too, I guess. You can just stay right where you're at and... Don't hurt the dude that's here. <laughs> oh my god. He's a visitor, damn it. Uh, the Muffalo Cat 
is not actually dead, so we need someone to finish you off real quick. Was that all of them? Where's the other... Okay, there's the other one. It's dead, too. Excellent. Okay. Allow that. Hey, and we have a traitor, so Mr. Noodle... <laughs> um, Come talk to the traitor. <laughs> the traitor that got attacked while in our, in our town. It's going well. Shrek one was stuntman game, but I figured I could catch up. <laughs> oh, we got a lot of traders hanging out here all of a sudden. We haven't traded much yet, so honestly, that's that's nice. We have some... I, I mean, we might as well get rid of the one smoke leaf. Oh, no, that's a smoke leaf joint. We'll want to keep that around for Chocobo. Uh, energy drinks are actually kind of worth stuff. And Ambrosia. Well, first off, do you have anything we want to buy? Frag grenades? Not really. Okay, you have fuck all, actually. So you know what? I will take all of my ambrosia back and my energy drinks. And instead, do I have any junk that I just don't want anymore? Like the cow wool hoodie, the shitty shirt, dog leather vest, etc. Yes, just get rid, get rid of all of this crap. Do you have anything that's worth less? Yeah. There we go. 179, that's fine. Except. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, Noodle. I think. Yeah, you just talked to Monabu, so trade with this one now. Do you have anything for us to buy? Again, absolutely nothing. Excellent. These All these people have fuck all. Uh, you can have the blue fur hood awful. <laughs> and. Okay, this dude's name is Sale. He must have something good, right? No, just a jade hatchet. And $12. Doesn't even have, like, any money on him, man. One more trade, and then you can go eat or whatever you were doing. You have a pregnancy test. Why are you carrying around a pregnancy test? <laughs> we're going to buy the pemmican. Pemmican is, like, really shitty food, but it's well-preserved. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. Tyrion flat cap. Broad wrap. Okay, that sucks. Uh, sheep will blindfold. I don't care about the blindfolds. Shitty, shitty lion pelt pants. Eh. That's a masterwork, so it's worth a lot. But it's, like, pretty worn out. So we're gonna go ahead and sell it. And maybe this shitty derringer. There we go. Okay. Now, Noodle, you can go do whatever you were doing. Cleaning, apparently. Now you're eating pemmican. Oh, Chocobo, are you not cooking? Chocobo's also consuming pemmican. Cook some food, damn it. If you just cook some food, then maybe we wouldn't have to eat pemmican. I'm just saying. We bought meat specifically so we didn't have to, uh, to, you know, starve to death so we could have some actual decent food. I'm just throwing that out there, man. That is something you can do. Obviously, you don't want to, but you could. Oh, we were also giving people a chair for their for their workstations. We'll go ahead and do that for Hattie too. Uh, furniture. I think it was the square, so maybe it was under extra furniture. Yeah, square chair. There we go. Noodles not really growing much right now, but I can't really blame them, considering the temperature. I mean, it's 52 degrees. It's not that bad. Your work didn't get messed up, right? You are still... Mr. Noodle, grow is still your number one priority, besides wardening. I guess we just don't... Wait, do we have sewing turned off? Is that what was going on? Noodle, what are you doing now? Harvesting oak tree. Okay, and then what? I mean, we probably turned it off because... Yeah, now you're sewing. Okay. We probably had it turned off because winter is coming. And all of the work that we're doing is going to get fucked up whenever winter actually comes. But if we can grow even just a little bit of stuff in the meantime, that's going to be massively helpful. So, we're going to turn it back on, dude. <laughs> Do your planting, damn it. plants. See, yeah, the growth rate 100%. Like, it may be chilly out, but it's not so cold that 
we can't do anything. Chocobo's cooking some food. It actually looks like some uh, some quality meals. Oh, dude, we had some drop too. Haul that urgently. Get that inside before it goes bad, man. What we need to do, actually, we're going to take this shelf here. Because these ones are are set to to be to like sell stuff. So before we ever worry about selling stuff to other people, I think what we need to do is just take one of these two shelves, which I think they both have the same exact settings, yeah. So we're just going to take this one, clear all, copy the settings from here, um, paste here. kind of meat oh canned meat and whatnot yeah that's fine whatever i don't care and then put it on critical so that food gets stored here first where shopping i don't believe is set up i'll double check that and then once we have some food saved up then we can put it out here where people are allowed to shop for stuff let's double check that though is it i forget what it's under oh my god Dig terrain? What? I've never seen that one before. Uh, strip mine, harvest fully grown, blah, 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 blah. Insect quality builder, set quality builder. Chocobo's taking a nap. What was it under? You know what? It was probably under one of these things. Research guests. Manage areas. Oh, it's just a regular area. Okay. So that's fine. Then we can just change it with the normal way, which that's nice. Clear allowed area. Shops. Okay, yeah, that's the only place shopping is enabled right now. Actually, you know what I wouldn't mind people doing? I wouldn't mind people, if they want to, shopping in our storage area too. Because we, we're not keeping anything too important over here. With that said, I don't want them buying... Is there anything I don't want them buying right now? components and steel because we're we're still like very early in the game and we're gonna end up needing that stuff so i'm going to make this corner unshoppable and then i'm going to change that to a different stockpile zone um yeah okay shrink that make a new stockpile zone and clear all this one is for, not for food. Manufactured? No. Advanced components, though, yes. Regular components, yes. Stone blocks, no, that's fine. Don't want people buying our gold. I don't think the diamonds actually used for anything important. Class steel. Uh, I mean, you. silver is the currency in this game, so they're not going to buy the silver. Uh, you know what? Our wood's pretty precious to us at the moment, too. If we somehow get robots, I doubt that's ever going to happen. But if we somehow get robots, don't buy my robots, please. I want them. And everything else, though, is fine. They can buy whatever the fuck they want. So the priority of this is normal, so this will just go up one, two, preferred. There we go. Oh, uh, another change, if people are still hanging out. Uh, this one isn't too big, but I changed the way that we're going to select new games to play. I mentioned it the other day to, to people that were in stream, but of course, I'm sure there were some people that weren't in stream. Ruined Fine Grill? Why is it ruined? Huh. Anyways, uh, instead of... It just being like me randomizing it behind the scenes or whatever. You can now vote on games that you want to see. And every time you vote on a game that you want played from, from the list, it makes it a little bit more likely to be picked. And we're doing the pick live on stream. That's the only difference. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing for games that we're completing. Uh, instead of running a poll, you guys are just going to be able to vote on the ones that you want to see. And then we'll randomize it. And again, the, the higher... The more votes one has, the more likely that it will be depicted. You can do that voting at any time because it'll just sit on the queue until I get around to updating it, uh, which will I'll always make sure to update it before we do a roll or whatever. 
Um, I'm also considering, I haven't really done anything with it yet, but I'm also considering doing uh, the same thing for games that like to pick up, to purchase, right? So I'll like, uh, we'll, we'll randomly select a game and I'll, I'll purposefully try and get a hold of that game. If it's like an expensive game or something like that, we might do a donation drive to try and help get it sooner. But obviously, as always, no one is required to donate. So if people don't have the money, can't, or just don't want to, we're going to get the game regardless. It'll just take longer, especially if it's like an extremely expensive game. Games on PS2 don't tend to be as expensive as like, say, the Nintendo, but there still are some games that are ridiculously expensive, like... Uh, Kuan, for instance, is like hundreds of dollars, you know, like four, four or five hundred dollars, I think, just for a loose disc of a game. So, yeah, <laughs> that's a neat idea. Oh, I'm glad you like it, man. I thought it was a pretty decent idea, hence why <laughs> I did it. But no, yeah, I, I think it makes it a little bit more interactive and, and should be fine. Meat is rotting away in storage. Chocobo, cook, damn it. Food should never be rotting away in storage, man. <laughs> oh my god. Tortoise meat. What are you doing? Oh, you're collecting ingredients to cook. Okay. I'm gonna completely get rid of forcing people to go home, because I think that's interfering a little bit with, with the cooking. Because whenever it comes time for them to go home, they're forced to go home, which stops them from doing whatever job they're doing. Now, in theory, they should automatically complete it the next morning or whatever, but yeah. I didn't realize lavish meals take so long to cook. The The higher quality meals are nice because it increases people's moods, but um, we're actually going to suspend that. We're just going to do fine and simple for now. Because, yeah, see how much quicker that's going up? Which, I mean, this is still a fine meal, so people's mood will still go up a bit. But it'll go up much quicker. Um, or it seems like it'll get done much quicker. We might even stop the fine meals from being cooked. We're going to go ahead and let this one finish, so we're not stopping him halfway through a job again. But, uh, yeah. Because we just, we just need meals made in general. We have some. We have, you know, these fine meals, these ruined fine grills. Which I still don't know what the fuck that means, but <laughs> whatever. Oh, you don't have a chair to sit on, dude. Let's give you a chair. I mean, you're stuck in here all day. You know the other reason why it's probably taken so damn long in there? Because it's dark as fuck. So let's get you a chair built, and then... We should have... Somewhere. We should have, like, a, a lamp or something. Those are all powered. Okay, we don't have anything there yet. Chem lamp. Torch lamp. There we go. Uh, why can't it be built here? Oh, it actually has to be put on the wall itself. That makes sense. I mean, it is wall mounted. I don't know how bright that is, but hopefully that'll be bright enough to light up that room. And who's our builder? Tom. Building wooden dining chair. After you finish that, get this lamp built, man. It's not polite to yell. Uh, who was yelling? <laughs> I would never yell. I was just yelling at the pawns. The pawns deserved it. <laughs> How's our meat situation? We're down to 15, so it's probably time to do another forced hunt. Who's our hunter? Chocobo, and they're spending all their time cooking right now. Which probably means... No, I do want cooking before hunting, actually. Really, what would be nice is if we had another hunter, which is Tom, actually. Yeah, that's Tom's second priority. He does the animal work and then hunts. Okay. So, I guess, is there just not anything to hunt right now? Is that the problem? Where's wildlife? This one? Yeah. Uh, there's definitely some stuff to hunt. They're just not flagged for some reason. Hunt the donkeys. Hunt the buck. Hunt the does. The alpaca. Ibex doe. Uh, how much meat do red pandas give? 
It doesn't say. I think that's a mod you can get that it'll tell you like how much meat things produce whenever they're uh, slaughtered. That should be or, or killed. That might be something to, to download. Maybe that's why he doesn't want to cook. Because I was yelling at him. Ask nicely. Do your damn job, Joker. <laughs> oh, is that better? Did I do good? Nate, what are you still doing up, man? You and Noodle, actually. Oh, you're <laughs> you're just chilling in Noodle's house for a little bit. That's fine. I get it. I chill in Noodle's house sometimes, too. Speaking of, uh, those lamps that we got. We should probably... I think they do produce heat, which sucks. But having them anywhere where work is done would be extremely helpful, honestly. Which right now is just here, there, here. Should probably get two. This is a big room. I think I think torches produce heat. I could be wrong. Hey, your room's done. Hell yeah, dude. Mostly, I mean, you still got the one thing. Uh, we'll copy someone's thing so that stuff can still be cooked here, but chances are it's never going to happen. I'm just being honest. Uh, oh, copy, 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 copy. Oh, it's also ad time. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Nothing's happening right now. I'm just going to set the, the priorities and stuff, but we are going to take a quick break as soon as I'm done doing that because I do need to stand up and stretch and get a refill on my water. If I could find the stupid copy button. There it is. Copy. Paste. And then we just need to go details. And set this to Hattie. Then I guess we'll also go ahead and... I said that we weren't going to give them a shelf. But it's it's weird not having a shelf in here when everyone else has one. So Maybe down here. Or do we put like another workstation down here later or something? Because there are like sinks and things. Although the sink, I feel like, would probably take up a little bit too much space. Maybe. I don't know. We can always move it. We're going to put it there. Anyways, okay. I'm going to stand up, do my stretch, and all that stuff. We'll be right back in a few minutes, guys. Probably. I mean, Nefarious just said he knew we were going to be there, so there may be a hitman or two waiting for us. But that's okay. Nothing we can't take. Uh... Find the Prophet Gary. Are you gold now? Is it gold? Uh, kind of, yeah. Yeah, it's got a nice gold sheen to parts of it. It's still, like, made of steel or whatever it looks like, but with gold accent. Very cool. Uh, okay, so what powers do we have? Since we don't have... Uh, clank. I mean, we can still hover because we got some boots. We can do we can do the dodge thing still. That's good. So really, it seems like the the power between the two of them is essentially the same, and all the weapons are the same and everything too, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So uh, nothing too hard there. One raritanium already, man. That was super easy. Are you sure it's that rare? Um, yeah, we don't have any of that shit. I mean, I guess we did just pick up the one rare Tanium, so we could have bought a new upgrade or whatever, but... Uh, yeah, weird question. You wouldn't happen to know anything about building a Dimensionator, would you? Ratchet? Ratchet! Gary! <laughs> your... your reputation precedes you. Gary, you'll need what? to go to the Interdimensional Archives. My apprentice can help you, but... How did you know? Well, go check it out. <laughs> I think I still remember how to stop an invasion. So wait, does he just know of us because of the whole nefarious thing? Or does he know of us because of some other reason? Secrets? No secrets. That's upsetting. Oh. I forgot we can wall jump. Oh, God. That was almost bad. <laughs> oh, we're dead. <laughs> Perfect timing, room. Just in time to watch us die. <laughs> Don't worry. You didn't really miss anything anyways. We've just been uh, messing around. 
The only lore bit you missed was that there is now a hit out on both the Lombaxes from Dr. Nefarious. And he's really enjoying his tenure as ruler of the, the universe, dimension, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, nothing important, really. <laughs> Wait, can't we, like, uh, how do we throw? There's, like, a crouch button somewhere. Oh, that's how we get into the menu to get all the diagonal ones. Okay. Oh, don't do that. I forget how to crouch. Oh. Uh, that's cool. Shows us our objective marker. That's always helpful. Thank goodness and figures, but which doc put it out? Uh, the one from our world, not the one from the other world. How do we... Oh, man, how do we crouch and throw our shit? I don't remember. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's been so long. I should have just started over from the beginning. No, I, I don't want to, but... I, I can't remember what the hell we're doing. Can we kill it? GG. It was just a robot, right? I'm sure he... Alrighty, guys. Hello, hello, hello. I am back. Let's see. We had a quest expire. That's fine. A great party opportunity. The Dominator celebrate the great party. That's not my religion. So <laughs> whenever we do this again, uh, whenever this colony eventually dies out, um, which is going to happen because I'm not building proper defenses or any of that BS, uh, we're going to have to make sure we take the prosthesize thing so that we actually like spread our religion around a little bit because oh boy yeah it's rough man um okay so some hunting is marked hopefully we do some hunting soon are people having a decent stay this time at least i mean you have free beds you have free I mean, the only thing you don't have is free food so like if you're completely poor and you come here i guess that would be a problem but i mean I don't know, man. Nate is making a fez. Uh, you'll never do cleaning. And things are being left unharvested. Why are things being left unharvested? Isn't... Look, <laughs> this is a sub-menu that's part of a mod. This is all stuff that actually exists in the game. There are this many different priorities. It just usually you can't break it down to this. But Mr. Noodle, you're the grower. Right? So where is growing and this giant list hunt grow okay so harvest crops is the number one thing <laughs> why why aren't you harvesting your plants things are rotting from being left on the plant too long i mean it's not happening too often but the fact that it's happening at all is a problem 80% grown. Okay. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. I don't know. Uh, who's our hunters again? I just want to watch them do their thing. We're closing this giant menu because that is just too much to handle. Tom, right? Yeah, Tom and then Chocobo. So, Tom, you're eating some food and now you're hunting. Excellent. Thank you. Hunt. <laughs> God, please hunt. We need food. Although, it looks like Chocobo's still making fine meals. So we must have a pretty decent variety of food. Still at the moment. How's our research going to? It's very slowly getting there. Very slowly. Do we just get ourselves a dedicated researcher? Is it time to get a dedicated researcher? We have one, two, three, four, five, six people. And the biggest priorities is someone to cook, someone to hunt, Someone to grow. Someone to construct. Although, the constructor could be the researcher. Because in theory, they won't be constructing all the time. In theory. But we're going to count it. Construct. Um, so, yeah. Really, we only need, like, four people doing stuff full time. Oh, and then someone to, like, haul and stuff. But we have six. Mr. Noob, you grow, plant, cut, and then research normally. That's not too bad. Who's the other researcher? Chocobo. Of course, the only two people good at researching are the two that do very important things. Um, Nate, you're pretty good at researching. 
You're also like our biggest crafter though. And while I didn't list crafting, that is something else that's pretty important. I think if we get one more person, that person's going to have to be like a dedicated researcher, basically. Because um, my god, do we need it. Chocobo, hopefully you're still cooking. Yes. Noodle, you're consuming food. I mean, that's fair. Can I get you... I know you hate it, but before you go to bed, can I have you just clean a little bit? Because our guest house is filthy. I think, do I have the, I forget what it's called. Is it called mat? Hygiene? Is it in that mod? No, that's bath mat. Doormat, there we go. These here, whenever you step on them, they prevent filth from spreading. Like they collect all the filth off your feet. So we don't have a ton of cloth. We do have a bit of leather and stuff though. I mean, cloth is like a renewable resource. Let's get it first. Let's do it for the important places like there and there. So before you go into the kitchen, if you somehow collect any any dirt, but before you go inside there, um, the hospital, we probably also want to keep that clean whenever possible. So again, we'll get a couple of them there. I think those are the only like really important ones right now. And then we'll get, like, people's homes set up with them a little later on. Oh, uh, your shelf is built, which means we need to copy the priorities from someone else's shelf and paste them there. There you go. Had he openly insulted Tom something? I didn't see. Our happiness for, like, the first time ever is actually decent. Hey, they're getting married. It's about time. Does that mean we can give you a real bed now instead of you... <laughs> uh, instead of you having two separate beds? Mr. Noodle flirted with Hattie by talking about his own diet. Hattie was attracted and now Mr. Noodle's lover. Congrats! <laughs> oh. You automatically move to this house, which is fine, I guess. Does mean we have one extra house, at least for now. Until the inevitable breakup. Unless <laughs> Mr. Noodle also kills their second lover. Because, you know, that happened once. Uh, I guess one thing that we can do. We can... Deconstruct, deconstruct. Now that they are lovers, they can share a bed. I, at least I think so. Who's our builder? Constructing. Constructing. So, Noodle, will you get away with murder yet again? Yeah, Noodle, will you? Oh, Hattie's the number one constructor at the moment. Okay. Prioritize deconstructing those. Please and thank you. They no longer have a bed. That's fine. We're going to reinstall this one here. Get that moved. Or can I be Black Widow? Uh, I mean, I can't force you to be one, but you can <laughs> you can try to be one. <laughs> Wait. Did I build copy? I think I clicked build copy. I meant to click reinstall. Here. What? Oh, the wood was in your way? <laughs> you couldn't just carry the bed up there first? Whatever. It's fine, I guess. That should also help their mood a little bit because we can set this private bathroom to be... Because bathrooms are set for bed. Um, so now that they have a shared bed... There we go. They both get the benefit from having a private bathroom. Which is nice. Oh god, though. If anyone has a kid, now that we have a married couple, um, if anyone has a kid, that means we're going to have to worry about school and stuff and, and just protecting the children as well. Oh no. I don't know if I can handle all that responsibility. <laughs> that sounds like too much, guys. It's the 7th of April, May. 
our food. Uh, we have meals. We don't have any meat. We have stuff flagged to be hunted though, right? Where's the wildlife? Is it this one? No. Why are things not being... Okay. This time I guess it's actually legit. There's like nothing good to hunt. Um, I think we're going to have to do a group hunt. Because if I, if I flag any of that stuff to be hunted, there's a decent chance that we'll just be attacked and die. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. I think we're just going to have to do a group hunt. Before we uh before we run out of meals here. Did we have this? Okay, no, it was just counting food in general, not from like a certain thing. Look everywhere. Yeah, okay, good. Oh, there's a little bit of meat. So we had some. Maybe it just wasn't Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Chocobo just hasn't gotten around to... They were too busy with the wedding. They hadn't gotten around to... to, um, Actually... Butchering any of the meat yet. I hate how they, like, go all that way... To gather... Ingredients? Instead of just going to the stockpile... <laughs> and grabbing something. I guess maybe with the type of meal they were trying to make, they couldn't, but... Okay, so now you should be, after you, you eat, you should go and start butchering. Yes. Good, good, good. We need the meat, dude. We really, really, really need the meat. I'm still a little bit worried about the winter, though. I'm not going to lie. Winter winter scares me because, uh, I mean, 25 meals. Like, we're not doing terribly for meals, I guess, but... Oh. Wait. Don't we have five meals? Did we run out? Oh, no, yeah, we did run out of fine meals. So all simple meals now. That's fine. People's mood won't be as high, but it'll be okay. Tom is getting some construction skill, which is really nice because he does a lot of constructing, but he sucked at it. So it was kind of an issue, to be honest. So I'm glad that he's getting a little bit of skill in it. He won't be so bad at one of his only jobs now. They just playing some horseshoes. What's Hattie up to? Hattie's making some loving. I'm assuming Nate's getting ready to go to bed. Maybe. Nope. Nate's Nate's staying up all night, man. He said, fuck that. It's actually not a bad idea to, like, swap people's schedules around so you have somebody always awake at night. Even if they're not, like, a night owl. Because that night owl is a thing that people can be. Um, who wants to be awake at night? Nate, probably. I know he's usually awake at night IRL. So let's put your sleep schedule. You'll go to bed at, like... Six in the morning. And then... I don't know, maybe... Pell? Sure. Those two can be on a separate schedule. Just to split people's jobs up a little bit and things, especially like if they need to share a workbench, like say the researching bench, for instance, only one person can research at a time. But, um, so if you have like two researchers going to sleep at the same time, working at the same time or whatever, then you're only going to get half as much actual researching done. So by having people, some people, you know, stay up all night, other people go to bed at quote unquote normal times. It just helps kind of balance out the workload a little bit. How true to the real me? I got you, boo. <laughs> okay, so we do have some food. It's really annoying that the, the food doesn't show up in deep storage. That That's stored in deep storage. I'm going to double check the mod settings real quick. 
Is that like pool users, humanoids, storing delay? Delay settings, deep storage, default storage. Use interface, show eject. Location on architect menu? What? Oh, okay. I'll show the storage category. Storage being over capacity. Hmm. Yeah, I, I really like the deep storage. Like it's a cool idea, right? Having actual storage crates and, and shelves and stuff like that. But it sucks that you can't, oh, we need to put another bed down here. It's not a priority, but still. Uh, but it sucks that like the stuff doesn't show up on your on your list of all the the things, all the food and stuff. It seems like, or or the fact that you can't set it as a target when, for for the uh, cooking stations, etc. Um, I wish wish there was some way around that. I mean, I guess there is. It's called "Don't Use the Mod," but I like the mod. It's neat. <laughs> Our next playthrough, though, we might we might disable it. New quest has become active. It's called Choco's Ancient Ruins. Choco, divine chief of Kinling of Alboyo, <laughs> informed us about the location of an old ruin complex near Ruville. These ruins can contain anything from crypto sleep caskets and architect artifacts to rare weapons and armor. Be careful, as these ancient ruins are certainly defended by a number of threats. Yeah, we're not, we're not doing any of these quests right now. Right now, we're just struggling to survive. Something aired out. Okay, <laughs> we won't worry about that. Hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's fun. Band of thugs sent by Nodra Cobras, Cobras call you from nearby. They offer to keep your colony safe from any threats, even the ones potentially caused by them, as long as you pay a fee. Uh, yeah, about that. Nope. So we're probably going to be attacked again because we wouldn't give them our money. But fuck them, dude. That's my money. <laughs> Why should I give them my hard-earned cash? Okay, it's nighttime, so let's see what some of the night people... Fishing? I mean, we've been complaining about food being short, so honestly, that's fine. Do some fishing, man. I can't be mad about that. Oops, condiments. Hey, guess what? We're getting raided by Nodger's Cobras. I never would have guessed. <laughs> oh, these guys have actual stuff. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. The assault rifle is tough, and I can't imagine the charge pistol being, you know, nothing. Um, but it is two on six, and they don't have anything insane. And their armor, although it looks fancy, it is just regular clothing. So I think we'll be okay. Let's get everyone... At the very least, we should probably build, like, sandbags. Still not proper defenses, but something. Um, you know what? I lied. Go over here. Hattie, what do you have again? You have a rifle, so you can stand there. Nate, you have a rifle as well. You can stand here. Tom, you have a rifle as well. You can stand here. L, you should have the shotgun. You have an auto pistol now. Okay, well, you're still going to have to go a little bit closer because the auto pistol. Noodle, I know you have the sniper, so you can stand back. Chocobo. You have the shotgun, so you can go there. Wait, are they preparing for a little while before they come up? Oh, God. That sucks. Uh, okay, Mr. Noodle, you have the longest range, so I'm sorry. Are they coming? I think they're coming. Oh, God. Okay, he has, he has some long range. <laughs> Run, Mr. Noodle, run! Who can I outrange him though? Uh just barely, it seems like. Okay, they're beginning their assault. Noodle get back. Uh combat command. Uh, I still need you to get back though. <laughs> Uh, 
complete. Oh, he actually has some cover in them rocks. We need to pick up them rocks, man. Chocobo? Oh, God, Chocobo. Oh, God. This is bad. <laughs> Chocobo, hit him quick. <laughs> oh, God. Chocobo. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. So that, that charge pistol, uh, turns out that thing sucks, man. Sucks for us. <laughs> But it puts out some damage. Oh, dude, who shot him? Nate Alistair's rolling block rifle bullet shattered Georgie's heart and injured his torso. Fucking go, dude. Hell yeah, Nate. Someone just got a headshot. I didn't see who. Dope, he's down too. Okay. Everyone is alive. We lived. That's fine. Chocobo, how bad are you though? Death in seven hours. So you're probably going to be okay. Let's go ahead and unforbid that stuff. What do you got? Package survival meals? That's a haul urgently. Well, first off, let's just allow everything. The assault rifle. Um, Who's hauling? Tom's hauling you. Uh, L, you're going to be doing that. Noodle, you have the thing. Who has, like, the shittiest gun, I guess? L. I mean, I want L to do doctoring. Um... Uh, Equip the assault rifle. And then... The charge pistol. What is that? Mechanoid egg? What the hell's a mechanoid egg? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think I think that's probably, probably fine the way we have it. Let's get that hauled urgently and that as well. Get that stuff inside. Uh, I guess the pistol too. It is pretty nice. I don't know if we're going to end up doing anything with it or not, but... Okay, is anyone taking care of Chocobo? Tom is. Uh, Tom, are you a doctor too? What does Tom not do? You handle and hunt. You are a level one doctor though. Did we... Should we turn that down for Tom? We probably should. Eh, it's fine. Huh. Okay, whatever. Chocobo, you doing better now? Yeah. Yeah, you're all taken care of. You're fine. You're starving though. Hopefully one of the doctors get around to feeding you soon. <laughs> hmm. Everything is going like too well. Hey, Psycho, I didn't even realize you're still here, man. But stretching sounds fantastic again. Let's get a stretch, dude. My back. <laughs> oh. Stretch out the arms, the back, the legs. Excellent. Feels excellent. Love it. That off so I remember that it's done. And there we go. Alright, who's up and alive right now? Nate, what are you up to these days, boy? Just going for a walk? And some colony management. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Okay. So we got that house built. Nate, your house isn't amazing at the moment, but I think it's going to have to do for now because I want to get this hospital straightened up. Um, and then, and I can't do that right now because this is currently like a prisoner room. <laughs> so I think we're going to build a small prison somewhere, maybe up here. It's a little far, but nah, that should be fine. That should be fine. So let's go ahead and get that laid out. We're going to want somewhere for a guard to sleep, probably. Like, that can be their house kind of attached to it. Because they do have prison breaks and things. And do we want individual prison cells? Or do we just want it to be, like, one big block? Probably just one big block, to be honest. How many beds do we want? Five? So we need at least five. Okay, 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 okay. We could just build a hedge wall. I'm sure they'll they'll respect the hedge wall. Okay, right off the road here. I'm sure Chocobo will love living across from a prison. That should be fine. So if we do, I don't know. We're just making some distance for now. Same sort of idea maybe with like the hallway. No, we'll just have the room. All right, just have a room. And then we need... One, two, three, maybe leave a couple extra gaps. So then we'll need a wall here of some sort. Do we have a better wall for prisons by any chance? 
I see we have like log walls, fine walls. Is there like a prison wall? Doesn't seem like it really. There's the barricade walls that you can shoot through, but that <laughs> doesn't seem like a great idea, honestly. All kinds of miscellaneous stuff. Prison wall is concrete blocks. That's a good idea. Concrete just for the aesthetics. Or stone. Do we have any stone? That's not stone. No, we don't have any stone, but we could do steel, maybe. Temperature. What about cobblestone? No, you need sandstone chunks for that, which we don't have. Uh, Yeah, I think we're going to have to do steel. How much steel do we have? Uh, Not much. I think it's going to have to be wood for now, just out of necessity. Because there's the concrete foundation, but unless I'm missing something, there's no actual concrete, right? Yeah, so I think it's going to have to be wood, sadly. Just wood and a regular door. One, two, three, four, five, and then we need the rest of the wall. Being raided again? Not yet. <laughs> We've been raided a few times, but, but not right now. Okay, they're also going to need a bathroom to do their business in. Um, so that's latrine, a tub. Maybe we can probably take that back by one. Something like that. For aesthetic reasons, do I just make it as large as the rest? Or maybe... Maybe we lay it out a little like like that instead and give them a little private hallway over to it or something. I don't know. Well, if their beds are all lined up there, though, then that wouldn't make sense. I don't want it the other way around. Something like that, I guess. Or... That'll work. And then some storage space, which maybe we just put the storage outside here, except for weapons. Well, everyone has weapons equipped, so we don't need to worry about that. And then just some sort of room for people to stay in. And then the other nice thing, I guess, about having this hallway is if we wanted to, we could expand this out if we end up needing more prisoner space and then have more prisoners over here. Oh, which actually we're going to need a medical wing, too, I just thought of. Uh, so maybe we put a medical wing over here, and then we can just, like, copy and paste. That'll work. That'll work. So the medical wing doesn't need to be as big. Just a couple beds. Maybe have them spaced out, because you can get stuff for medicine later on, too. So I have, like, the normal rooms over here, the medical rooms over there. We'll center that door, kind of. It's not... <laughs> it's not really centered, but... Oh, god damn it. I guess this would be true center, huh? But then it would be off center from that, and that would bug me. So we're just going to leave it like that. And then we do want some sort of, like, prison guard that lives over here. We'll put him on the other side, though. I want to bring this wall down one, and then... We're going to need a room over here. Damn it, I keep... I keep thinking we're on this screen, so I keep pressing C to cancel, and then it just cancels a <laughs> a wall that we had selected to build. Okay, so we'll need a room for a double bed. A... Yeah, so about that big. And then, like, we can have dressers and things in here or something as well. Does the person that runs the prison get their own cookery? I don't think so. No. No, nah, they're fine. We got a pretty decent room, though. Then they're going to need their own bathroom. And some storage space. I don't like their bathroom being smaller than the prison one.
I don't like the layout, but <laughs> I think it's going to be like that. I don't like things not being centered, but there's nothing I can really do about it. And then a door over here, too. Something like that. Sure. That's going to have to be good enough. I'm not going to mess with it too much. And then for now, the prisoners are just going to get sleeping spots. And then we'll give them, like, something better slowly as time goes on. And then these ones are going to be medical ones. And they're all going to be for prisoners. Okay, it's not indoors yet, so it can't be set for prisoners. That's fine, whatever. And then right now, we probably won't have a dedicated warden, but at some point, we're going to want to, like I said, a dedicated warden up here. Okay, let's go ahead and let everything start moving again. And we need just simple water tubs made of wood. Uh, here and here. Some wooden latrines. Probably some lights to make sure that the prisoners aren't getting up to anything too crazy. Although, at this, we'll get some in the medical side of things. Oh, which reminds me, if it's medical, we're going to want a uh, door over there too, actually. Because of the way the game does... Uh, calculates, like, room cleanliness and things like that. We're going to want that area to be as, as clean as possible. So that more medical operations don't fail. We'll just have the door, like, locked open. Um... That way people can go in and out. The prisoners can go in and out as they as they please. Get rid of that stuff. That goes with that bed. This is technically going to be a public restroom, which sucks because <laughs> that means uh, like people may randomly just come over here and use it, which isn't really what we want, but it's going to have to be okay. Oh, one other thing that they do actually kind of need. It's not necessary per se, but giving prisoners a table to eat at or two is, is you know, it's nice. <laughs> a table and then maybe some... They only get one wooden stool. They have to, <laughs> they have to share the stool. Oh, the wall's not built yet, so we can't put that up. That makes sense. What else do we need over here? Um. Oh, we need we need a uh, temperature control, specifically a campfire. Maybe we put it there and then put some vents. How cold is it? It's 58 degrees. It's fine. You can come visit. And then put like a vent in here. Vent in there. Just vents everywhere. I guess the storage room doesn't actually need a vent. On them. Uh, screw the bathroom. It'll be fine. If they're cold a tiny bit every now and then or whatever, who cares? Okay, let's go ahead and cut all the plants in this area. Get rid of all of them. Okay, and then just having a well up here would be nice just for uh, making it quicker to fetch water and stuff like that. So is there a water source around here? There is. Right there. Excellent. Okay, this can now be set for prisoners, and this one can be held open. So the next time someone goes through that, it'll it'll get held open. Uh, for prisoners and for prisoners. And like I said, slowly but surely, we'll uh, change these here to be... Um, I guess technically this needs held open too, huh? Need someone to trigger that. Who's closest? Tom, what are you doing? You're fishing? Hattie? Just consume your meal. Excellent. Now. Oh, can I not make you go somewhere unless you're drafted? Well, whatever then. There. Now you can be undrafted. Oh, no. These are short walls. 
When did I switch to short walls? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Okay. Select similar. Deconstruct. Those aren't real walls. <laughs> oh god. Well, whatever. It's fine. Okay, the temperature should be pretty stable. And then we're going to want some storage over here. Build copy. There. Uh, and we'll at least put flooring on the nice half. Not that nice of flooring. Just regular wood floor. Do we have concrete flooring? We do. It takes concrete, though. Do we have any... Do we have packed dirt? <laughs> Uh no, I guess we'll just do wood. You know, we'll do the we'll do the concrete flooring at least for these guys. And then we'll do wood for the rest of it. it. Might look a little weird, but I don't know, it's fine. What isn't weird around here? And then we just need to There should be some steel around here somewhere and we'll just queue it up to be mined. There's a little bit there. Actually, you know what we can do? We can just go to the manager bench, or the manager settings. I didn't think of that. We can just set up a mining job. Oh, we're counting all of this stuff, too. Okay, so really what we need to do is just deconstruct some things. Like the cars and things. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Apparently that shit gives us steel. Any more? I know we have like a bunch of shopping carts or something around here too. War spider remains? Yeah, dude. I bet you that'll give us some steel. Can I just do a bulk claim? I should be able to. Orders. Claim. See, I really, I want to claim like everything on the map, dude. I own this map. <laughs> So anything on it, it's mine, damn it. What did you expect? Concrete floors to need butterflies? Well, no. <laughs> Obviously not butterflies. <laughs> but I also didn't expect it to need concrete. I thought it would use, like, I don't know, sand or dirt or something. I don't know, man. Okay, did I miss anything? Uh, a couple things, but I don't think we missed anything important. I think we've pretty much claimed everything now. Deconstruct. 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 And a couple of these. That should give us a fair amount of steel, I think. There we go. How you guys doing anyways? It's 55 degrees out. It's not that bad. Hopefully you're having a decent stay. You got a couple paid beds. Excellent. Uh, our food is gone. Completely gone? Completely. Chocobo. Oh, because you're hurt. So you're not doing any cooking right now. <sighs> How badly are you hurt? You're not that bad. Do some cooking for us for a little while, man. Hunter lacks weapon. Okay, Chocobo, after you do that cooking, where's your shotgun? Is that a shotgun? Yes. Chocobo, equip your double guard shotgun again. What is that? Oh, peanuts! We got some peanuts. I knew we were growing them. Why are they not stored with the food stuff? Foods. Well, it's not going to be under meat, I hope. Vegetarian? We allow all vegetarian animal products? <laughs> uh, eggs can go in the basket. That makes sense. Condiments? Uh, uncooked soup drinks? No. Weird. Uh, Okay. The Rue is very tired. I think I have to get up at 5, 8 a.m. Finally caught up. That's fine, man. If you got to go to sleep, go to sleep. I totally get it. Oh, that's not how you spell peanuts. Peanuts are enabled. Set priority preferred. That's normal. 
game. <laughs> okay. Like I said, there's there seems to be some problems, man, with the with the deep storage. I don't <laughs> I don't get it. I don't I think we're gonna have to like we're not gonna change mods mid mid go of this uh run, but I think the next run we're gonna have to disable it, which sucks. Oh, there's a puppy. The puppy's hurt. Um, bleeding out in three hours? Holy shit. Okay. There's only one possible way to save this puppy. We're going to try to, but, uh, somewhere in here, animal sleeping spot. That's probably under furniture. Animal sleeping spot right here next to it. Mark is medical. Mr. Noodle, what are you doing? Sleeping? Excuse me? It's six o'clock. <laughs> try to rescue the puppy. Quickly. Uh, okay, don't just... Oh, you're already tending. You're getting medicine? I kind of wish you wouldn't get medicine, honestly, because the puppy's probably going to die in the meantime. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's going to be so close. Oh, God, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> God damn it. Well, we lost the puppy, guys. We tried. We did everything we could. We even wasted some medicine trying to. I don't know if I said, but have a good night, Rue. I might have forgot to say. Oh, I didn't. Why did you go and get medicine? You should have just treated it without medicine. Oh, Nate, while you're here and you're talking... um. Do you have another pick for a game since uh, that Shaman King one didn't go through in time? While I'm thinking about it, I just uh, turned and saw that it's still on my queue. So if you have another vote for a name uh, or for a game, let me know. Played or unplayed, doesn't matter. Just remember the unplayed games. Or I'm sorry, owned or unowned, either one's fine. Just remember the unowned ones are going to be uh, a little iffy on when we'll get them because yeah for obvious reasons oh dude some stuff's ready to harvest noodle noodle i need you to harvest plants oh my god there's so many things ready to harvest you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back into this menu again that i absolutely despise <laughs> and it's gonna make it like it's going to make it look weird, but we're going to go to the grow stuff here. Harvest crops. Everyone that doesn't suck at it, so... Oh, well, Nate, you should be at a level 4 here, just in general. Uh, but everyone that doesn't suck at it is going to get a level 3 priority just on harvesting. Like, make sure these damn crops get harvested, dude. Like, that's that's important. <laughs> The food needs harvested before it rots. There we go. We can we can see it's already working. Nate's uh, harvesting some stuff. I mean, we're gonna lose some. Some things are gonna be botched, which sucks, um, because of it. But I would rather a couple things be botched than than most of our crops to just fucking rot on the on the stock. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look at look at all of this stuff that we're getting. Wild Gander Revenge. Why? I mean, that's fine. Everyone should be set to close this god awful menu. Um, everyone should be set to defend themselves. I think. Okay, no, everyone's not set to defend themselves. <laughs> there we go. Now everyone's set to defend themselves. And I'm hoping that our pet lions can freaking handle. <laughs> can handle a wild gander of all things we got peppers almost grown some strawberries that are getting there a shit ton of garlic noodle really likes their garlic what can i say rice that is pretty much grown we probably don't need this field anymore because we have so many houses with their own fields but I guess we'll leave it for now. Oh, yeah, that is one downside of uh, claiming a bunch of stuff. There's going to be a bunch of things that are 
fixed that don't really need fixed. I'm stealing this table though. <laughs> um, this table is going in the town square because I don't know why not. It can go in our little party area over here. Both of them. They're nice tables. Reinstall. Is that the same distance? One, two, yeah. There we go. Do we have any, like, urns or anything? Because urns are actually, like, a... a like a beauty thing. They make your colony look better. People will like their rooms more. Oh, we're still out of steel. Do we need to deconstruct more stuff? That's probably just a lower priority, actually. Uh, ship chunk. We can de deconstruct that. That'll give some tasty stuff. What is that? Shuttle chunk? Same thing. Deconstruct. Oh, look at it. It looks terrible. I love it. <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, the other thing I do actually want to do, though real quick is put down those mats for here too just because I don't want this place to get nasty all the time uh where was it it wasn't under here under hygiene extra furniture regular furniture no where the hell was the mats at floors straw matting miscellaneous there it is doormat we're just gonna put the one though that should be fine for there. Okay, Tom, I don't know. We haven't followed you in a while. What are you doing? You doing some hunting? Right now you're doing... Deconstruction, okay. What about Chocobo? You cooking, hopefully? Yes. Put it towards slide two, okay. You got it, man. Collecting ingredients to cook. Excellent. I love it. I love it. Actually, right now it looks like you're just gathering things. It doesn't even look like... What? <laughs> Hold on. Strategic War Management Mechai Foxtrot sent a new ship to land on the planet. A small ship often used for ground recon operations has minimal defenses. When destroyed, mechanoid presence on the surface will be lowered. If it's left operational, it will contribute to the size of mechanoid attack parties. Slightly increases the mechanoid presence. We might actually have to leave our colony to deal with this. Is this us? No. Where are we? That's really far. We're all the way up here? How long would it take us to get there? Oh, that's actually not as long as I thought. 2.2 days. Uh, but whenever it blows up... Oh, mechanoids are going to come. Are you finally cooking? No, you're unloading... I, th I think one of the mods might be broken. Like... <laughs> Chocobo has said that he's cooking all day, but he just keeps collecting stuff. <laughs> Demon Stone Forgotten Realms, too. Okay. Yeah, that one looks pretty cool. I don't know anything about it, like, you know, most games <laughs> that I own, but it does look cool. Who's the other person that's staying up all night, L? You're just relaxing inside Mr. Noodle and Hattie's room. <laughs> Sure. Why not, man? <laughs> that's, that's so weird. Why are you just chilling inside their house? Whatever. It's fine. I guess. I don't know. Damn, dude. All kinds of votes. All for the same game, though. <laughs> Hopefully that one's good. Like I said, it, it looks pretty cool. But uh, I, I have no idea if it's going to be any good or not. I guess time will tell. There we go. Look at all this stuff, man. We have actual, like, food now saved up. Okay, another animal crashed. Also bleeding out in four hours. Um, I don't know if Mr. Noodle can take <laughs> losing another one. So, 
L. Rescue. But... Oh, we need to delete these two. Deconstruct, 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 deconstruct. Okay, this front room for the time being is going to be a animal hospital. And while I do think what I did before was, was smart, putting down the animal bed right next to it, I think the running back and forth for medicine might have contributed to the passing so we're just gonna get l to go over there and grab freddy and hope for the best if if freddy makes it back in time they might be okay but it's gonna be rough man yeah they're oh my god i don't i think i don't think we're gonna make it in time they spawn so far away dude and then they bleed out so quick it's a dnd game i didn't even notice it was a dnd game Well, in that case, yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I hope it's good. Yeah, Freddy didn't make it. Son of a bitch, dude. Well, get Freddy inside. <laughs> Meets back on the menu, boys. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. Inspired Taming Tom. Okay, that's actually really cool. Inspired Taming, if I remember correctly, means that the next Taming attempt you do is guaranteed... To work so what do we want to tame what what pet do we want to get <laughs> uh preferably something that like gives milk or something but it doesn't look like any of them do um we could get a boomalope for the chem fuel because we can use chem fuel to to fire some stoves and stuff like that maybe we could get a mega sloth and then just slaughter it for the meat well, horses are pack animals, actually. So why don't we go ahead and get one of them? So we're going to set the horse mare to be tamed. This one. And then we're going to tell Tom, prioritize taming that. Which means we're also going to have to build a pen. An animal pen. Um, maybe up here? That's a chem fuel pond? What? Maybe over here, like outside of town or something, actually. It doesn't need to be huge since it is just one horse. And we just need fencing. Uh. Okay, I say it don't need to be huge and I start making it pretty big. This should be more than big enough for a single horse. And then we need a... What's it called? Once we tame it, I think it'll tell us. Yeah, it is. We're getting ready to go to break in just a minute. Whenever we do, I'm going to take a look at it. Because I believe you, but I didn't realize that whenever I was getting it. There we go. We now have a horse mare one. Does anybody have a name for the, for the horse? Okay, so we should get a message... ...saying something about us not having... ...a pen... Are we not going to? Friday? That's the name you want for it? Open. Pen marker. That's what it's called. So we're going to put it right there. And this is going to be our little animal pen for herd animals and stuff like that. Uh, What is it? Is it training? Yes. Friday. I'm pretty sure the solar flare doesn't really matter for us. I'm pretty sure horses have to have a pen or they'll run away. There you go. So basically everything. <laughs> oh, you know what? There are actually, for some reason, I don't know if one's from the mod or what, but there are actually two type of horses in the game. Um, And... Horse display animal? What? Anyways, uh, and they, uh, one of them acts different than the other, so I guess maybe the one we got isn't one of the ones that has to be kept in a pen, which honestly is kind of nice. That means it'll be easier to take care of, but at the same time, it's 
just going to be walking around doing whatever the hell it wants, which is a little weird maybe, but it's fine. Oh, now that this wall is up, I completely forgot. Let's uh, get that. Is it under? Is it under power? Drop storage furniture. Let's get that wall mounted thing in here. This is our prisoner medical area. We need some more prisoners, man. We need to stop killing everyone whenever they come and attack us. We need to we need to let a couple of them live. Oh, since this isn't our prisoner area anymore, let's go ahead and haul these out of here. And I think that's it. Okay, the ad's again ready to start, so we got to hurry up and take our break. And I'm going to go look at that game. Perfect time to stand up, stretch, get a drink, do all those necessary things. Anyways, I'll be back in just a couple minutes, guys. Do you have a nest over here or something that's spawning you? You do. I still can't get over how pretty this freaking game is, by the way. Like, it's insane, man. It just looks so fucking good. Okay. Makes me wonder where the other one is and how he's going to react to the imposter nefarious. Same, to be honest, but it seems like, from what I remember, he's been missing for quite a while, right? Like, doing whatever it is he's doing. All right, there's... Ah, okay, we, we go into the first person aiming, and then we just use square to, to throw. That makes sense. Got it. Speaking of... Uh, I, I don't know how that's speaking of rare things, but hey, we got more rare titanium. <laughs> more upgrades for us, man. I'm just trying to collect all of the nuts and bolts and shit that I can, because we uh, there's two new items, or two new weapons out there that we haven't been able to afford yet and that is not okay ah you dick i don't appreciate that i'm just over here trying to collect some nuts and bolts and you're trying to take a chunk out of my ass like not cool man that's what i remember too something tells me that the final boss is gonna be both with lombaxes fighting side by side uh honestly that sounds like a pretty good guess man 100%. Like, I don't know because I avoided all spoilers for the game, but it kind of seems like that's the only way they could end the game, you know? <laughs> like, with all the buildup, with there being two of them and two Lombaxes and all that BS, I'm significantly more scared of this world's Dr. Nefarious than I am my home world or dimension, universe, whatever's, though, because, like, my home one was useless, essentially. The one on this universe actually did kind of take over the universe <laughs> so you know a little bit more scary then might as well destroy these other bots real quick uh we're stuck yes so much destruction explosions everywhere hold on we have a better gun for dealing with big stuff like this don't we we have the Negatron Collider. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. I love that giant freaking missile blast, essentially. Like, we don't have a whole lot of ammo, though. I should probably be saving that a little bit. What were the other weapons again? The Enforcer. That's like a shotgun, right? Yeah. That's close range. And then we had a zip line or something, too, right? We can, like zip through those portals how did okay l1 oh goodbye <laughs> where is the i hear shots there it is that dude uh you know what this seems like an excellent use for the negatron collider bye-bye <laughs> whoa you survived that I'm honestly surprised. I thought one Negatron Collider shot would be enough to kill that thing. But I guess it's a little more powerful than I thought. <laughs> Bye-bye. All the explosions and particle effects and everything, too. It just all comes together. Hello, hello, guys. We are back. Uh, not for too much longer, though. I didn't realize the time. It happens every time I play RimWorld. I just, I love the game so much that I end up kind of not realizing how much time or like how late it is. So yeah, but we are going to play a little bit longer, but probably only another like 15, 20 minutes because uh, 
I'm tired, boy. <laughs> uh, and I need to I need to get ready for bed here soon enough. So, yeah. Anyways, so what were we doing? Uh, following Nate around, apparently. Who's consuming a simple meal. Only the most interesting of things happen on the Rim Worlds, man. And now he's going to bed. Excellent. <laughs> Tom, what are you up to? Repairing crap? Not very interesting. Chocobo, I'm assuming you're just cooking things. Butchering things. I mean, close enough, I guess. Oh, was that Leonard? I think that was Leonard. <laughs> oh, poor Leonard. I mean, look, things happen, man. What are you what are you going to do? Our food situation has really turned around. Winter surprisingly Wait, did we We must have made it through winter. Yeah, it's 80 degrees outside. Holy hell, hold on. <laughs> okay, so all of the fireplaces, it's just going to make it like unbearably hot indoors. So turn them all off. Let's just not deconstruct. Turn off automatic fueling. I did not realize that, like, we went through winter already. Did we get any... We had to have gotten some. Oh, you know what? This one can stay fueled. We must have gotten some, like, snow and, and stuff for winter. I just missed it somehow. I don't know how exactly, but... That means we're in a really good spot, dude. We just need to grow the colony a little bit. That's like, that's the big thing right now. We need a couple more people. We need research, which if we could get like one more person, that would help out a ton with the researching. Because like I said, the next person we get is probably just going to be a dedicated researcher. That's that's essentially all they're going to do, man. Um, our food situation, honestly, is amazing. Things are going really well. It's a little bit scary how well they're going. <laughs> that can only mean we're going to get royally screwed soon. I want to get this research done faster. It can't be Chocobo. And everyone else sucks at it. I mean, Chocobo even isn't good at it. Why do we even have an... Oh, because you have, you have passion for it. That's why. So is it going to be Nate? I mean, you are like the only crafter, but we're not really doing much crafting right now. You do also help grow. Or wait, no, no. We have everyone set on three for that. That's right. Hattie's the one that helps grow. Yeah. Nate, congratulations. You're now a researcher. Oh, look at that. Fucking meat drying, dude. <laughs> Construct meat drying racks. Allows you to preserve meat and create a Roman delicacy. Okay. That is perfect. So that means we can actually have food that lasts. Um, meat hung by it will very slowly air dry over time, allowing an indefinite form of preservation. The air drying process can be quickened by a warm environment. So we want to create a hot house somewhere, essentially. Um... I want to put it on Nate's land. So maybe this is like a road. It comes all the way down here or something. I don't know. Everything's a little too packed. We want to leave room for that to expand at some point. Uh, I guess maybe down on this side of town. Fuck, dude. Having all of the houses, like, right here makes it a lot harder. <laughs> I should have done, like, a cluster of houses or something. But I had to leave everyone room to grow. That's right. That's why we didn't leave that. Um. Oh, shit. I guess, just like how Noodle has <laughs> the, the only tailor bench in all the town, Nate, congratulations. You're getting the smokehouse for meat. That's now going on your property. Uh, it's gonna go down on this end, I think. And 
I mean, it's going to kind of be on your property. We're going to share this wall. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One. Two. One, two. Oh, not there. I don't want this one. We're building a lot of them because we want a lot of them. <laughs> That's, I mean, honestly. Okay, and then wooden walls all the way around it because this is going to be a hot house. Get a door on there. Uh, if I wasn't blind, I could see doors, not the wooden single door. I want like the, the normal doors right there and a campfire which we can just copy one of these ones it's a little weird you got to walk through the campfire to, to go anywhere but oh well <laughs> just tread carefully in the 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 meat drying rack there man uh for cleanliness reasons i guess we should also probably put a floor down And maybe one of those mats, which I've already forgotten. I think it's under miscellaneous. Yeah, doormat. Excellent. That's actually going to be huge for us, man. With the, the very primitive technology we have right now. That's going to be huge. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> you did it, Nate. You fucking did it, you mad man. <laughs> I think that's the only the second time I've seen someone win that prize. I'm pretty sure there is one level higher on the slot machine too, but holy shit. How many points are you up to now? That's another 70,000. That's freaking ridiculous, dude. I think you need to go on a spending spree again here soon. <laughs> Giving out some points. 270,000. After just winning another 20,000. <laughs> My God, man. Oh, uh, one other thing we need to do probably is the uh, the animal zone. We probably shouldn't allow them in the, the meat room. Okay, that takes a lot of work. We're going to need some... We're going to need some more steel probably. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting low on steel. So... You know what that means. Start deconstructing shit, dude. X, X. X, X. Ancient wheel? Sure. Deconstruct it. Um, do you guys have a trader? You do. Noodle, what are you doing? Sewing area? Yeah, that's kind of important. Nate? Washing with tub? Oh, this is a quest. Uh, 15 medicine? How many medicine do we have? 28. That's a lot. And it's real medicine they want. Hey, thank you so much for the points, man. <laughs> That's annoying. Uh, choose ingredient. Insert meat. Oh, I thought... I thought this would be like a recipe based job or something, but I guess not. Is this a hauling job? Why can't I? I can't right click it. Hmm. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna figure out how this how this works. I I, I don't completely understand just yet. Cancel bringing meat to the drying rack? No, but like, how do we tell people to bring meat to it, though? We do have meat, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it must just be a hauling job, because L's doing it. Build at 12 of 75. We probably overdid it a little bit <laughs> with the meat drying racks. I didn't realize how many, how much meat fit in, uh, in each rack. So, that's my bad. There's another. That's a steel table. Um, don't we have, like, a town hall room or place somewhere that's here? 
Yeah, we never really use it for anything though. Maybe we just There you go. You need you need a table for your <laughs> You need a table for your for your research and shit there or something. I don't know. Meat. Meat. We're just gonna fill this room with all the meat, dude. Are we no, we still have wood, surprisingly. What are you doing, Nate? Oh, you're researching? Um, all jobs are done. Okay, I was going to have you do colony management first, but I guess we don't need it. Uh, okay, it's a little warm, but not like unbearably so. Let's speed the time back up. I want this room to get finished at the very least. I do also want to see, what are we researching now? Togas? That's for the, uh, to, to, to stay warm in the winter. Better temperature control stuff, beer brewing, tree sewing, recurb bows. Um, I'm going to cancel the recurb bow one for now, I think. Ella's pregnant. Congrats, Chocobo. Hopefully that doesn't go horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, <laughs> because we don't really need it anymore. Although, yeah, I don't know. Because originally my plan was was to work our way up, like century to century. But that also means things take a long time to progress. So maybe maybe we'll just have to do like a certain number in each section before we can go up to the next one. Because we're still Neolithic. Like we still have just very basic things. Okay, Pemmican, that's another form of... Son of a bitch. I just canceled everything. I hit the wrong button. Okay, get the togas. Actually, you know what? Get Pemmican first, because we did a... No, we had some trouble in the winter. <laughs> Let's do togas first. We do definitely want beer brewing. We do definitely want tree sowing, so that we have a constant supply of wood. Um... Oh, dude, sell shit. Okay, yeah, let's definitely get that. Temperature control, heat stones, large passive coolers. It doesn't seem like it's that important. Common comedy bronze working. Huh. The crafting bench. Hey, there's cement making. So, sh sure. But what? I mean, it seems dumb to make a lot of the weapon stuff because we have, like, so many weapons right now. Hey, hey yourself, man. Make pottery? Just unlock recipe, make part pottery. What's what? What's that do for us, though? Learn not to create beautiful vases and other vessels from simple materials. Oh, so probably just like pretty stuff. Um, beekeeping, carvings, beacon, scorpion, portable field artillery piece, which doubles as a semi-automatic heavy crossbow. What? <laughs> okay, we do want that one. And while we do get a lot of weapons, we don't actually get much armor. So maybe... Do we want legionary or centurion armor? Tyrion production. A riverbank structure that dyes cloth. Ah, oh, neat, but... Okay, yeah, we do definitely want the crafting bench. I guess we'll get bronze working. Just grabbing the stuff that, like, I care about. Uh, Devil Strand, we're going to want that eventually. And Psychoid Brewing. Centurion or, or Legionnaire? Which, uh, what kind of armor do we want, guys? As far as I can tell, it does the same thing. Like both of them. They're just... Uh... They just look different. Yeah, as far as I can tell. Heavy armors, smith suits of Centurion, excellent, excellent for leading men into heroic battles. Uh, capable of withstanding a high degree of sharp damage. Centurion? Okay. Works for me, man. The first one you named? I don't remember. I think Centurion was the first one I named, or was it Legionary? I don't remember. Whatever. We picked one. <laughs> uh, crematorium would kind of be nice, so we don't have to keep expanding our graves. So I guess we'll throw that one in there, cement making in there. We're going to have to restructure this so much. I guess we'll get the, the 
thermo baths too. Okay, so what's important? Togas for the winter, definitely. Um, beekeeping's neat, but I don't feel like it's that important. Crafting bench would be nice. Let's get togas, pemmican for for long lasting food, even if it wasn't. Oh, uh, are you asking if I'm getting a shower? I didn't plan on getting a shower tonight, but if uh, if I am stinky, let me know. I will. <laughs> uh, pemmican, beer brewing, tree sowing. Uh, let's move. No. Maybe get beekeeping. Bees are cool, man. Let's figure out how to make bees before beer. We're constantly running into wood problems, though. Okay. I think this is going to be our order for now. We might end up changing it later. Scorpion's also really cool. I could, I could, I don't know. I could go back and forth on that stuff forever. <laughs> There's so many cool options, man. But it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, we're gonna attempt to fill these meat racks full of full of meat. Nate upset Brody three times in a row. Nate, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Stop upsetting our guests. <laughs> you dick. I wonder how long that's gonna take to dry stuff out. I hope it doesn't take too too long. But uh presumably while it's stored in there, it's not counted towards our meat total. So we'll have more, more meat uh, coming into the colony, but awfully disappointed in their stead. Probably because there's no free food, which, I mean, I get it, man. <laughs> food probably should be free, but what do you want from me? Let's expand... our our animal hospital stuff medical medical that's h h he ignored your wonderful joke earlier what was your wonderful joke if you guys haven't realized by now i'm blind as fuck <laughs> uh you can have a pet in your house you already have a pet you have leonard the n can have a pet the pet sleeps in this corner over here. Actually, no, they can sleep there. We're getting more animals, so I'm just trying to make more sleeping spots for them, making sure everyone has a pet. We can have a mascot in there. Uh, Hattie can have a pet that sleeps at the bottom of their bed there. You already have one there. Okay, well, I guess this isn't actually Hattie's house anymore. This is the next person's house, probably. Said something about Tom doing everything. I said I heard Tom also runs a diet. I read that out loud. I saw it. What are you talking about? And we're getting raided. The raids are going to continue to get worse and worse, man. Because we're kind of rich. With how many buildings and stuff we have. Uh, Fuck me, dude. And they actually have real weapons again. At least they're not like crazy weapons. But they're real weapons. And there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. This could go very poorly very quickly, which means it's the perfect time to end the stream. <laughs> We're going to leave it off there. And next time, guys, next time when we play, we're going to start it off with a stream. If we're lucky, we'll survive. And if we do survive, maybe we'll get a couple prisoners because we need more people in the in the colony. Um Damn, we just started getting, like, our meat production set up and things. Ugh. That's rough, dude. Wow. I hope <laughs> I hope the colony doesn't die here, because if it does, that's really, really gonna suck. But if it does, that just means we get to do something else fun next time. So, either way, it's a win-win. That's the way RimWorld goes, you know? Sometimes you get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit tonight. I do appreciate it, as always. Link the poll. You got it, man. I can do that. Uh, you can also do exclamation mark poll. It is at the bottom of the link tree link that'll pop up, but I will link it in 
chat. I have no problem doing that. Also, hello, Chocobo. I didn't even know you were here today. Uh, I don't know if you just came in or if I missed you earlier, but you came in right at the time to leave. <laughs> Anyways, there's the link to the poll. Feel free to vote on that if you like. And uh, for anybody that missed it, after this poll for the game that we're going to be completing, we're changing it to a little bit of a different method. Uh, people are going to vote on games and then the game is going to be randomly selected. That's also now how we're doing the normal PS2 gauntlet stuff. Um, and then eventually I'm probably going to add in one for like buying games or whatever. So yeah, he said I need to go on a spending spree. Oh, I completely missed your message, man. When you said that then, when did you say that? Oh my God. Yeah, I don't see that anywhere. Whatever. I'm sorry. I missed it, but <laughs> you did a good job lurking. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Thank you so much for having a good for having a good night. Thank you so much again for joining. I hope you had a good night. And until Sunday, bye bye. <laughs> oh, and as always, be kind to each other. Duh. <laughs> Later, guys. Man. Oh.